Also breaking news tonight, attorneys representing the organization Disability Rights South Carolina and 15 detainees at the detention center is now asking a federal court to take action on what they call inhumane conditions at the Richland County Jail. The attorneys originally filed a suit against the jail back in 2022 on behalf of Disability Rights South Carolina, claiming the jail was overcrowded and understaffed. Attorneys say the county has not taken adequate steps to improve conditions at the jail. And the injunction requests are, uh, are several written documents from inmates detailing problems at the jail. The issues range from unsanitary conditions to the eyewitnesses, eyewitness accounts of an inmate's suicide. Again, we're continuing to follow this story for you on air and online at WLTX.com. Just moments after the injunction was announced, the Richland, Richland County issued a press release addressing mental health care for detainees at the jail. Now in the release, they specifically mentioned an inmate's suicide saying, quote, regarding the tragic suicide of a 20 year old detainee at the detention center in March, we want to emphasize that this individual had specifically denied any suicidal thoughts or tendencies and had no history of mental health issues or treatment. The county also said that the jail is not a mental health hospital for hospital and therefore doesn't offer comprehensive psychotherapy that a hospital would. As for the claims of poor living conditions, the county says those were based on outdated information and that the jail is undergoing major renovations.